Hello, I'm Joe Wren. After months of trying to secure a new contract, the Professional Firefighters Union of Kokomo may take the city to court. The union started negotiating terms of a contract with the city in June, but has yet to reach an agreement. Now, it's unclear when the matter could go to court or what will happen if a contract isn't finalized by the end of the year. Bloomington city leaders want tightened regulations for new developments due to residents' concerns over a rapidly growing downtown. The proposed changes to Title 20 of city code would deny most new construction more than three stories. If approved, the changes would remain in place until the city adopts an updated unified development ordinance next year. And Indiana University will start offering homegrown produce in its dining halls beginning next spring with the development of a new campus farm. The farm sits on seven acres of the historical Hinkle Garden Farmstead located on the IU campus. I think first and foremost we're going to be growing knowledge and so that's what we're really excited about is getting students involved in studying food systems and engage, engaging in um, education opportunities, experiential learning opportunities out here on the farm. The School of Architecture and Design has plans to use the farm to help produce their own dyes for textiles. Farmer says one factor he's most excited about is the opportunity to provide fresh produce for the Crimson Cupboard, a food pantry for IU students. And now here's a quick check of the forecast. First for tonight, mostly clear conditions. Overnight lows falling to 31 degrees. And in the five-day forecast this weekend, mostly sunny conditions. Highs in the mid-50s. Then a slight chance of showers on Monday, 61, a bit cooler on Tuesday. More rain on Tuesday, clearing out by Wednesday. We have more news on our website. It's all at WTIUnews.org.